morning guys. So I've just been to Aldi's and Greg's, thought I'd just show you what I picked up. So to start off with, I picked up two of these protein yogurts uh, in peach and passion fruit and two in salted caramel. And then I've got these pouches in strawberry. I got two of the super bear, super bear ones and two of the passion fruit mango and papaya ones. I got some more cheese strings for the kids. People are telling me to try these because they're saying they're just like the Domino's ones, but obviously a lot cheaper. So I picked up two. I picked up some milk, some bread. A big thing of this sweet and crunchy salad for myself because the kids won't eat it or Sam won't even eat it. Some blueberries, raspberries, and some strawberries. Look how big that one is, guys. Got some ham and some mushrooms. And then from Greg's, I got a meal deal, so my drinks in the living room, in the push chair. But I got um, cherry coke, zero sugar. And then I got myself a ham, egg, salad sandwich for lunch. And then I got the kids some sausage rolls. So that was I picked up from Aldi's and Greg's. Um, I've got William at home today. Um, He's got, I think he's got a bit of an ear infection because he's holding his right ear. Um, so I've got a doctor's appointment at half three. First up, I'm hoping for antibiotics. Um, but at half two, I've got a teddy bear's picnic with a rubber skull. Um, obviously, we're just doing that on the field. So yeah, I'm going to take, go to that. Hopefully, Simon's going to be back in time so he can come as well. So it'd be nice for us all to go. But yeah, I'll take this, probably take the sausage roll. It's like a little picnic. So I don't know. It's saying a picnic, teddy bear picnic. So you can share a book with your kids. So I don't know how this is gonna how it's gonna work. But I'm gonna just pack a little bit of food, obviously for the kids as well. But yeah, I'll show you what it look. He's fast asleep at the moment. He has been since we dropped off uh, Robbie. So I'm just obviously facing that way. But yeah, this is it. Cherry cake, zero sugar, no calories. But yeah, um, I didn't really film over the past couple of days. I filmed Father's Day and that was it. So obviously today is Tuesday. I didn't film yesterday. I just was not my best. Um, I'd woke up obviously with a really bad sore throat. Um, so I got myself some of this throat swig because I'm also um, first of all you start to go and get yourself some like lozenge your strep, uh, strep salts went into body care and saw the cheaper versions these are like 99p so I got some of them and I should also the thing that might help is obviously the throat spray um, so I saw this I thought oh yeah that would do this was three ninety nine, but when we went to the chemist last night to get my prescription, um, they had these in, but five pounds something. Is that? So yeah, I have still got a sore throat, and I do this every two to three hours. Um, and all you do is just have, turn the pump around, hold your breath. And then just spray three times on the back of your throat. Um, so yeah, it just comes like that. So you just take the lid off, just turn that around, and then you try and hold your breath, don't swallow the bit. This one's the original menthol. Oh, yeah, that's the only one they had. But in the chemist, they had one, a cherry flavoured one as well. 
Um, but yeah, it's always worth just walk going around, um, looking at different things really, and seeing where you the best places to get them from. But yeah, I'm gonna put this fruit in the fridge. Yeah, I'm in the fridge. Milk in the fridge, and then. Probably have to get something to eat, some cereal or something. It's half past ten. Um, be that my job tomorrow because I did a post office one for mum and then got one with a few bits. But yeah, um, so yeah, so we cleaned the cage out yesterday for the guinea pigs. Um, Oh, William was feeding him a bit of lettuce and Sophie had bit his finger and all he was doing is just holding the lettuce for her um, and I was watching because was, Sophie was on me and she nibbled his finger and oh my word bless him he cried Sophie nearly jumped at me I was trying to put Sophie back in the cage to give William a cuddle But yeah, I'm so tired. William was up majority of the night last night. Um, he has been for quite a couple of days, so I'm hoping once he gets better with this, obviously, air infection. I'm thinking that, like I said, I'm hope I'm thinking it is because, like I said, he's holding his right ear. Um, that he will be a lot better, and that he will start sleeping through again. And then when he woke up, I knew Sam had obviously gone to work, so when he woke up, I just brought him into my bed, thinking that it was like quarter past five, or something like that, for him to get back to sleep, but no, I didn't know what the time was, because I didn't look. Um, and the next thing I know, he was obviously turned over, but Robbie had jumped into my bed as well, and obviously that woke, and he was poked, yeah, I think he poked him, or he was just laying there pretending to be asleep um, but then obviously that woke William up so and then they've both been hyperactive Robbie's been winding William up he's not the innocent one William does not wind him up all the time Robbie does wind William up and it's like yeah um, you're going to stop this now um, Robbie winds William up more than what William does to Robbie um, so he's not the innocent one really, but anyway, it's kids for you when they've got siblings. Um, but yeah, we've had another letter from school for another school trip next year that they are planning. But they just, obviously they've got some dates set with where they go, what they want to go next year. So obviously Robbie will be year four. Um, it's to another Butlins place, but it's obviously a bit closer to house. It's not as much travelling for them. Um, but yeah, um, they've just sent a forward to if people, well, if people, if their children want to go, um, Robbie is on an island if he wants to go, he does want to go, but he also wants to know what's going to be there, so I said to him, I said, right, when we get home, we'll go on Mummy's phone and we'll have a look. We'll research the place. Um, of where it is. And um, we'll have a look what's there. So he's handed the form in. And then also the dates. Guess the name of the teddy and how many sweets from the jar. 50p ago, so I've given him some money for that as well. But anyway, I'm going to put the shopping away and then get myself something to eat before he wakes up. So I'm just leaving him because he must need it his sleep. So, yes. So, just dished up tea. I'll explain about William and the doctors after tea, but here, here's tea all dished up. So the kids have got chicken nuggets, onion rings, chips and beans. So that is uh, Robbie's. 
that is Simon's. We've got a steak. He's got onion rings, chips and beans. Here's my steak and I've got some salad. See, I use this like fry like things of mine and then there's Williams. So I'm just editing um, this vlog and I forgot to update you of how, what the doctors have said for William. So he's got an ear infection. It's obviously not dis given any discharge or anything like that. We've managed to catch it early. So obviously there's just, it's not, there's no pulse coming out or anything like that. It's just a bit red inside. So he's given him some air spray, which is an antibi antibiotic air spray. Um, so I've just got to spray it in his ear, roughly breakfast, dinner and tea. Um, just one spray in that ear. Um, so yes, there's that. Um, but other than that, he's absolutely fine. Um, so yeah, yesterday morning he slept, or well, this morning he's... The beginning of this vlog, he was sleeping all morning. He fell asleep at 8.45 and didn't wake up till 20 past 1. But I know he's fine because he was snoring his little head off and it was like, it's so adorable to listen to his little snore. And then ever so often it was going, no, Rara. Mommy, mommy, daddy, and it was like it was so adorable listening to him. But yeah, um, so yeah, I'm gonna end this vlog here. I um, hope you guys like this vlog, and I'll see you guys in my next daily vlog. Good night, guys.